Well, good morning and happy hump day. Uh, today is Wednesday, November 29th. I am your host, Tanya Gardier mcleod of the Daily Hot Sheets for Roswell, Georgia. So why don't we take a look and see what's happened in the last 24 hours, which is right here underneath the market watch. We have uh, six new listings, so we love it when we get new listings. We need those. Uh, one fell out of contract and is back on the market. We do have one that increased the price. This has been very interesting. That home has been on the market for over 200 days and they've back and forth on the property of the pricing rather. It's an investor owned property that they flipped. Um, we had one that withdrew and it was only on the market for 20 days kind of a thing. So I'm not really sure what happened there. Four that closed and two that went actively under contract. So you can see again, as quickly as things are coming on the market, six new listings, we had four that went pending and two that went active under contract. So um, they're going just as quick as they're coming on the market. So let's just check the quick, the, the hot sheet and I'll show you which those are. Right here, you can see, let me move my thing. You can see over here, these are the new listings up top. Then it goes to the price increase, the pending, the withdrawn, the closed, and then the ones that are actively under contract. Okay, so the new listings, we've got some in Willow Creek, Park Bridge, Hilton's Hills and Roswell Place. So they range from $4.99 up to $6.92 for our new ones. Um, we did have one, oh, it looks like there is another, uh, sorry, the fifth one, uh, Tennessee Walker on, uh, for Plantation North. And then um, we did have this one in Lock Highland on Aberdeen Pass that had the price increase. Um, that's just been a very interesting one. I'll show you that. Pine Needles went pending, so it was um, actively under contract. They got through their inspection time period, and now they're just waiting for closing day, so that's a good thing. Hollyberry is the one that was on the market for like 20 days and withdrew, so I'm not sure what's happening there. Maybe they want to wait uh, to get through the holidays. A lot of people feel like that. Um, and then we had two that closed, one in Kensington Square and another one in Pine Valley Estates. And then we've got two that are actively under contract, one in North Cliff and one in Kings Mill. So I just wanted to um, give you a quick glimpse of what these look like. This one is the one in Willow Creek that's offered for $4.99. Three bedrooms, two full baths, and no basement. It's on a slab. This is in Milton School District, Henbury Springs. Super cute. Nice open floor plan. Very clean, neat, offered for $4.99. Another active on Park Bridge just came on the market as well. Uh, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. The beds and the baths, full baths are upstairs. Oh, super cute white picket fence. Okay, that's $6.49. Then we've got one in Mimosa School District, Roswell High School, Crabapple Middle. This is on Alpine Drive. They call it Hilton Hills. This one is offered for $5.99. It's a 3-2. Let me see if this has a basement on a slab or, you know, no, no basement rather. Cute. Offered for $5.99. Then here's the one on Shelley Lane, six ninety two five. dollars it does have a basement. It's unfinished, but it does have a basement. It's three bedrooms up, one full bath up, one on the main, and a full bath and a half bath on the main, and nothing in the lower level. So showings are going to start tomorrow, Thursday. Okay, so let's take a look real quick. Oops, let me know, blow that one up. Let's see. Very pretty, very clean, open. Nice neutral colors, love the sunroom, really nice. This is a great home, 692, okay? Then here's the Tennessee Walker one, Plantation North, 650. Four bedrooms, two baths up, a half bath on the main. It's in Tritt, Hightower, and Pope. And there is a crawl space, so there is no uh, basement offered for 650. Nice back deck. Looks fairly nice. Looks like it's been staged. So I think it might be one that you could get in for last minute showings. Looks super nice. Bookcases there. They've done a nice job with some of their updates that they did do. Sunroom. Private. Very nice. Aberdeen Pass. This is the one that I was saying that has been on and off the market, it says, for 202 days. Um, and it's gone up and down um, as far as pricing. But um, three bedrooms and two baths up. 
and then one bedroom and a half bath on the main, and then one bed and a full bath on the lower level. So it's been updated. It's investor owned. Looks like it was maybe a flip. Um, it's in Lock Highland, offered for six forty seven nine ninety eight right now. It was at six forty five, so they came up in price, which I always find intriguing. But uh, nice house. Okay, here's one that went pending. This is uh, in Pine Needles on Pine Thicket Way. It's a three bedroom, two bath up, and then two bedrooms and one full bath on the main. You see it's Roswell North Crab Apple, and there is a crawl space, no, no uh, basement, uh, 550, so that one is pending. And here's the one that um, withdrew is Hollyberry, and this one was only on the market for a couple of days. I'm not sure what's going on with this one, but it was only, like I said, marketed for about 20 days and they took it off the market, but it looks like a very cute home. Uh, Hembree Springs, Elkins Point and Roswell High School. It's a four, two and a half um, on a full finished basement. So um, let's see, if they have, there's the basement. Cute, nice backyard. This looks like a great house. So we'll see what happens if it comes back on the market. This one closed in Kensington Square, which is Northwood Elementary, Haynes Bridge, and Centennial High School. It is a three, two and a half, well, two half bath, sorry. Uh, nope, three, two, and just one half bath, sorry, on the main level. Um, that one just closed for 455, slightly more than it was uh, listed for. Very nice, presents very pretty. It's aged nicely. Oh, it's occupied. They did a nice job presenting that. And that one closed. Okay. And then this one also closed in Pine Valley. Let's see how many days. That one was on the market for five days before it went under contract. Let me just check this last one. And that one was on the market for seven days. So they were not staying very long. So again, just reminding you about what's going on with our inventory. As soon as it comes on, a lot of them are going off the market. So we're continuing to keep a very tight market with not a lot of inventory. So now would be a wonderful time to consider selling, upgrading, even with the, the rates the way they are. We're, oh, and I didn't start out with that. We're going to go check the rates here in just a second. Let's go check where they are too. Really pretty house. The, this one just closed at um, right at list price, $5.95. Here's the one that went under contract in Northcliffe. It's super pretty. Three, two up, two, two and a half, two halves on the main. Wow, that looks like a nice large house for 825 is what it's under contract for. Um, let's see if it has a basement. And it does have a basement. Very pretty home. Little table on the main. That's kind of cool. Get more use than being stuck in the basement. Very nice. Okay. And then the last one that went under contract is the one on Kings Mill. Uh, Kings Mill Court. It's considered Roswell North Crab Apple Middle and Roswell High School, one bedroom and one bath up, one bedroom and one bath on the main, very unique floor plan. So it's basically a two bedroom, two bath house uh, that happens to have a basement with another bedroom and bath. So that's gonna be a very unique floor plan. It did find somebody who is interested because it is under contract. Uh, there's a screen porch, I love those uh, wall window doors. So they found the right person because it was able to get under contract. Let me see how long that took, only 17 days. So. Uh, we'll see what that ends up closing for. So real quick, let's jump over and let's see what our rates are at. So if you go to my website and click your agent and go down to the blog, you can go to the most recent one and click the uh, mortgage calculator there. Why is that not? Let me go to today's daily mortgage rate right here. Okay, so today on Wednesday, we are at, hey, it came down. We're at 7.3 for a 30-year fixed. We're at 6.73 for a 15-year fixed. Uh, that went up slightly, which is interesting. And the FHA 30 uh, came down to 6.62. And the Jumbo, we're at 7.72. No change there. And then the 5-1 arm is at 6.85. And then our VA 30-year fix is coming in at 6.64. So I'd love to have any conversation with you. If um, Roswell is not an area that you're monitoring and watching and you want me to find something like this for you for a different location, please reach out, send me a text, hit me up with a DM. Let's have a conversation, see how I can help you, share the numbers with you and talk about what's going on with you. What questions do you have about the real estate market and how can I help you? Thanks so much for watching. Share with some friends if you think they'd find value in this and join me tomorrow for the Daily Hot Sheet for Roswell, Georgia tomorrow. Take care.